uh, asks, I was wondering if you could address how the communicator Fulbright experience to jobs that may not be familiar with the Fulbright name, what the experience is. Well, I, and, I, and I think that that's, that's a good question. I think that uh, we within the Fulbright community, those people who are in the international education community, uh, people who are in academia and certain fields know Fulbright is a is a brand, is a branding. And, and we in the Fulbright Association think that that's really important for you all to consider. But I do think that uh, often you're going into environments where there is just saying you want to know Fulbright means nothing. So I really, with my own students and with my own clients, really emphasize talking specifically about what you did and what you did and how that contributes to what you could be doing for somebody else. So if you just say I went on a Fulbright and that was my what I did is not really as valuable as saying on a Fulbright I did these things and these are the ways that I can help you. I, I've got to tell you the biggest key to getting a job is not what you know, but what you can do for somebody else. Employers only hire you when you're benefiting them. So a lot of students think, well, I'll learn a lot on this job. Yeah, you probably will learn on this job, but that's not why you're getting hired. You're getting hired because you can do something for somebody. So, so and, and, and even if you've been on a Fulbright for a month, there are things that you've learned and things that you can contribute. Articulate what those things are. Certainly call it in terms of your Fulbright experience, but talk in terms of things that you can contribute to somebody else.